of several public hearing items. We're resolving our first is REZ 2024-01. This is the Gresham event venue. It's located at 8415 Old Valdosta Road. It is currently EA and the requested for PDR, and this involves 10.3 acres and will be served with well and set. Mr. Hill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. We do have quite a few today. This is the first one holdover from the previous meeting that was canceled. So you see here it is an EA property. The portion cut out there, that odd shape, is the 10.3 acres being requested for rezoning to PDR. You'll notice it is within an agricultural character area. Um, and the only wetlands are there on the pond uh, dug out from the property. Again, half mile radius was drawn around this subject property and notice was sent to those applicants um, based on our historic event venues and, and uh, things we've had dealt with them. Notice was published both locations touching the public roads. And again, here is the overall site plan, predominantly where the 10 acres focus is. We'll zoom in for a little bit more clarity here. You see the existing lodge. This is a house as it stands today, approximately 3,600 square feet. They are proposing an additional future barn building, uh, approximately 3,200 square feet, as well as an additional restroom and paving area. Um, and again, this is all conceptual. The applicant doesn't have any particular timeline to build these out. This is an aerial view from 2023. You'll notice the house there currently under renovations at that time and the pond existing building for storage there. This is a view of the property looking to the west and again more close up of the building you can see the renovations have been completed at this time. Looking back towards the southeast where that potential future farm building may or may not exist. Then again the ponds looking due south. This is the building as it stands from those ponds. And again, looking back toward the northeast, toward the residential area, the intersection of Old Salem Church and Valdosta Road. This is the approximate halfway point. You'll notice at 1,500 feet where the planted timber and the existing vegetation is to the nearest residence. So again, the request is for a PDR based on this site plan. As you saw, just the existing lodge that's there today with the potential for the future barn building additional uh, event and use activities. You see the conditions the staff recommended in your in your packets there. And again, much discussion by the Planning Commission took place at the January meeting, ultimately recommending into uh, recommendation <coughs> 9, 5 to 3. Any questions for Mr. Dill? Andy, what was the um, what was the opposition? Have you had any opposition send letters, notes, phone calls? And what what is that? There have there have been a few emails I've been I've been copied on and you've all received those as well. <clears throat> Mainly the concern for noise has been the number one thing. There was a little bit of concern about traffic uh, and talked to the fire marshal, county engineer, they they know there was adequate access to the property for multiple <coughs> and the driveway was adequate to support emergency vehicles. Um, but the noise has been the, the main concern we've heard. Uh, the same with most of the other event venues in the area. The, the future barn building, you said, may or may not exist. It doesn't exist at this time, sir. The applicant gave no idea of when he would like to develop it. He just wanted to not limit himself on options. What would its purpose be? Uh, I would imagine a future barn building might hold a, another space, a larger gathering space. Um, if you consider some of the other event venues, uh, most, most recently Hallibrook Hall down on Flyville or Fox Hill, they have kind of outdoor open pavilion areas that they've used for ceremonies and things. There was no discussion about it, maybe housing a band and keeping the noise inside? Potentially, sir. I mean, it, you, you could have any sort of instrumentation, any sort of band like that on the property. Again, it's on the southern end. Uh, generally in this configuration, it would probably face the lodge, meaning it would face away from most residences. Um, but again, I'm not a sound engineer, and we know that sound does strange things in, in different areas. So. That was not a concern by the GLPC that they denied this request? They did, they did not comment on the band? No, sir. 
They just understood that there was opposition based upon uh, previous uh, venues. Right. Jakey, I agree with presenting this, that there was inside noise and outside noise, and it was asking for an explanation for the noise inside and noise outside. Mm -hmm. Did they ever come up with any clarity about that? I think they were trying to interpret how the noise ordinance is enforced, mm -hmm. of where it's measured. Mm -hmm. um, I know, don't see, don't see Ms. Bates here, she would probably get a better one to answer that I can get with her. Uh, but I, I believe it's measured uh, plainly audible in the, in the dwelling uh, or at the property line. Again, don't want to make an interpretation too much on the noise ordinance itself. Perhaps legal could weigh in a little bit, but um, I know that is a concern of how they measure it. I think the biggest complaint that I was listening to was that at 10 o'clock, it was a noise ordinance. Yeah. off and they go outside and they go all night. Right. So that was a concern. Yeah, but my understanding is, is, of course, we have the, the time that the noise is supposed to go down, uh, and it's not supposed to be heard beyond the property line. Now, we do have, as we've talked about, the noise ordinance. We're going to have to come up with some way that code enforcement would be able to measure the noise, and you do that with a decibel meter at a property line. Uh, and we're going to have to end up, I feel like, setting some standards uh, that could be integrated into that ordinance so that as much as anything would help code enforcement be able to uh, enforce the, code, the noise ordinance. Because as it is right now, it's at the property line after a certain hour. Our big issue is not as much the hours as it is the fact that during those hours, there's no limitation as far as where it can be heard. So I just feel like that's for another discussion on another day, we're going to have to make some transition. But it doesn't sound like the GOPC's recommendation of denial was, I mean, it sounds to me like reading this report that it was more about ingress and egress, and, and then whether or not the venue is even needed, which really shouldn't even be a discussion, I wouldn't think. I mean, no. that's not. I agree. Their place to determine whether or not they're going to be successful and what their finances look like. So that's kind of what, what I'm trying to figure out. Is it was there was there a recommendation based on ingress, egress, and whether the particular board member felt like it, you know, it would survive or if it was related to the way you know, it may be a combination. Well I feel like you will get your opportunity tomorrow evening at the public hearing to hear what those issues are. Okay. Any other questions? All right.